everybody how you going today um so um i've decided that um we've got a few signatures now or i've got a few signatures i don't know whether anyone else is doing doing my um project but you know that's okay um i haven't had very many comments i don't know whether you're all all um very busy doing other things but um so what I'm going to do with these ones is, so these are the, I've got three, four signatures actually nearly finished in this series with the red, white, silver, yeah, um, gold. And I'm going to actually make the, the book part of it today because I feel like it's getting out of hand and I haven't actually got a book to put them into yet. Um, and cover and so forth. So unlike this one, which was um, last year or the year before, where I did uh, many different collage pages doing different techniques along the way, um, this is actually in, a, in an actual book, you know. Um, so what I'm going to do this time around, though, is um, I'm going to make it out of a cardboard box like I have on other on other projects okay so you can see how to do this though on on my um, web page there is I'll put a link to the this this kind of book if you're interested in upcycling a book this way um, this one I actually we tore out the pages of an old falling apart book and this particular one was in um, the greys, reds, blacks and whites and I've added gold to the pages and we've just done different things on each um, on each one on each signature so I found it's a kind of an odd shape um, book like it was quite a big book um, so but the pages are actually quite um, you know quite quite long So in inches, it's like 10 and a half inches by nine inches, which is um, 20, nearly 27 centimeters by 23 centimeters. So my book is, it, it's kind of, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of narrow and tall, this particular one, which is unusual. Now also, um, this particular book had black, um, on one side all the way around the car pages so I've decided to keep those um, in each signature um, I still haven't decided whether I'm putting any actual um, plain paper in between these or whether I'm just letting you know for, for notes and stuff or whether I'm just leaving this as a um, a book of creativity I love some components in this book already and others um, you know don't attract me as much this one's actually not finished but um, most of them most of them you've seen uh, this is one of the first ones with the black and white paper and the making squares which I don't normally do just go through them and then this last one was with you know writings scriptures and i've got that upside down of confidence this was really busy this is the busy the busy one <laughs> extremely busy i was going to add numbers and all sorts of things but i feel like that particular this particular signature is very um very very busy so i'm going to just leave them for the moment and move on to um the book the, the cover so with those measurements i found i found a box that will lend itself to be um really quite good it's long enough to um to do the job um this is quite thick cardboard it's just an it's just a box that i got at christmas time merry christmas judy armstrong <laughs> And I thought, well, I'll keep it for something, obviously. So I'm going to pull it apart. Mm. 
was from my work. Okay. So. So what we need now is a... Um, we just kind of need one of the signatures. Uh, I just went and got a, um, a mat. Now, I'm just going to cut these pieces off because... I'm not in the needing those. And I'm not needing this. So basically I'm going to go, I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. So I can deal with it easier and also I can keep these pieces for other small projects. Okay, just cut these off. So this bit, this bit and this bit are really the only pieces I'm going to keep at this point. They still may need trimmed down, so don't worry. I'm not taking very much care with this particular bit. I will line them up and square them up and draw a line if I need to. Right. Okay. So as you can see, this is like the general, uh, the general um, I think this side would be easier, the general idea. And so if I left this to be that wide, that might be a little bit overkill, I feel, yeah. But um, what I want to do, I probably want to make it half that. And I want to glue it together with a really thick glue and make it really strong. So it's 10 centimeters. So dead in the middle is five. So it's just there. And there. Just line up those lines. I might just turn my light on. It might make it a little bit more, a little bit easier, but not much. Very bright outside, a bit glary. All right. Now, make sure that's cut through. So I'm going to glue this on top of this. Um, I'm going to glue it with PVA glue and actually put um, something heavy on it and, and um, overnight. Um, then, now the reason I'm going to do that is because the signatures are going to be in here eventually. And um, I, they're not going to, I'm not going to drill holes or anything like that. I just want to be able to loop them through. So it's a really quick book frame, um, except for this bit, probably. Um, so I'm going to decide on the size now and measure just how much that should be. So if we put that up to there... I'll move it down just one. Mm. 
Let me measure it, I think. Get a pencil. Oh. Righto. Going to measure. I think it's going to be, so with the, that in there, I don't know what the, I don't know. I think I might do a material cover maybe. I'm not sure at this point. So I think it's just going to be 15. I think that'll be fine. So if you measure 15 or 6 inches or, you know, what, what, whatever yours is. Line those three marks up. Perfect. And then do the other one the same. Fifteen. that way then this is this way so we're just going to take it off I think we're just going to make it straight just going to take off I'm going to put this in the corner I'm just going to cut that off there Straight edge. And just a little bit down the bottom on this one. Same deal. I'm just going to take a little bit off. If that edge there is straight that I've just cut, it should be. And my ruler is straight on the straight edge here. So if the edge I just cut is there on that line and this line of the ruler is straight, that actually should be straight. You could draw it with a pencil to make sure that you're cutting it correctly before you cut though, if you're unsure. Okay. And then this one. And this one you can do. You can actually mark. Okay, right out. Sharp implements away. Let me just get the glue and um, so you will see that this is that's it. This is the um, the piece. I'm going to glue that together now um, on there and I'm going to weigh it down um, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do the cover. Okay so we're going to glue this down with some PVA um,
cover it quite well. Line that up. Make sure it's all even and then we're going to put some weight on it and um, I'll be back. So I had decided that I might use this beautiful red and black piece of satin um, that I've had uh, kicking around for a very long time. But I decided also that that's not quite how I want to go. So um, when I was cleaning out my mum and grandma's cupboards, I, I, you know, I found all these beautiful linen tablecloths, these small ones, but they're all you know very much damaged and i i couldn't fix them at all uh, this one is one that grandma actually hand stitched you can see all the hand stitching so i am going to utilize these in um i'm going to cover the the cardboard um in this and then I'm going to actually jelly print and ink work and onto the linen. That's what I've decided. Now, this was a tablecloth with a, um, a double edge that I just ripped off so that it's just um, a plain single piece now. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue this on. Um, I'm probably going to use PVA again. But I think I'll trial it beforehand, actually. So, um, because I've never actually used this particular PVA. So, um, I've got a smaller one there that I'm going to use. All right, so while this is the one that I'm going to work on. I think I'm going to make a, a, a trial one, just a small little, with one of the, um, a small piece that was left over from our cut-ups. I'm just going to make a little book for storing something in. Uh, just tidy that up. I love that. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Um, all right. I'm just going to do this. So... I would have, um, I will get um, some heavy books and to glue this down it'll, and it'll be in, um, it's about that much. Grandma would be very happy that I'm actually reusing this. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to glue that and um, I'm going to go and get a brush because I feel like I need to, a really nice strong brush to brush some glue on and then I'm going to put that on there. What I probably will do is do the corners on the angle. Um, and having my sewing scissors out here would be a big help instead of these very blunt um, paper scissors but that's okay this is only a prototype so um I'll be back all right so I'm just going to um it does go that way though it does want to go that way doesn't it I don't think it'll actually sew through, so I will do it on the one side. All right, I'm just going to get some PVA and a stiff brush. 
Um, I'll just get a piece of cardboard and pop it under there. Absolutely has to be coated completely. Okay. Then making sure it is on the wrong side. I'm just going to put that down. Now, I want to do, you can see my handset. That's okay though. Gives it more more authentic that it actually was given to me. It'd be funny if you could see my name when you when it's all finished. So I'm just rubbing that down quite hard, quite firm. You could actually use a roller if you wanted to. And I understand that you could make this piece of material on the jelly plate now, but um, I have to have a bit of a think about it and I'd come out and sort of decided to, to do this today. So um, I might only use Indian inks. I might only use alcohol inks. I might, I don't know what I'm going to do. So um, it's going to be a bit of an experiment really, which will be fabulous. So um, I'm not going to put, I am going to take the sides in, of course, but um, I'm not going to cover the inside. with material. Okay, well, these are all pull that nice and tight. Make sure that um that I might just put something there. Um Make sure this corner has got enough glue on it. one it's kind of a bit of a sticky mess but you can get the idea
Make sure those corners are well covered. Well pulled down. Now, I love this. This is gorgeous. Okay. Um, I love, <laughs> I, I really love that. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to, what I'm going to do with that yet, as I said. I don't know, but I will just cover that with, um, probably with paper that matches whatever I'm doing. Um, if the corners don't turn out as I like, I might do them in a different way. I mean, for this it doesn't really matter, but maybe I might actually not do them that way. I wonder how bulky they would be. Um, that's still enough for that. Okay, just a bit. I love doing things on camera. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think another way which would be better, actually, maybe. Let me just get this one again. I think that maybe I'll cover this one too. Just because I want to try both ways, actually, before I do the um, other one, the big one, I like to. So, I mean, this is fine. This will be beautiful. I've even got corners I could actually put onto that. Um, but I just feel that they might be a bit, I'll see how they go when they dry. They might be fine. But um, they don't look kind of as professional, I think, as I want it to look. So, um, again... Let's just grab some PVA. On the samplers, Kind of put it in the middle. Stretch out the linen. See the old stains, yeah, which is, uh, you know, it's just how, how old they were. They had a good life. So I'm thinking that maybe maybe I leave the corners on. I go this way. You kind of need to glue the whole section though because it's going to fold over onto itself. 
since I have the material to do that, I mean, if I was running short on material, I could do it the other way, but um, let's just see which looks better. have to make sure that you pull that in to get that nice point though. Mm, okay. Just who? This is probably a little bit more fiddly, um, but I think in the end it probably will be the way that I go on the um, the big one, even though it is quite a lot more fiddly. Well, you might see my rash. Look at this red rash. I was in the garden and I had this terrible reaction to this plant. My whole hand just turned into this rash and started itching like crazy. It was very weird. Never experienced anything like it in my life. But there you go. That will teach me for not wearing gloves. Won't it? I mean, you could actually wear gloves now too if your PVA was in an annoyance. Um, I'm just not a really good glove wearer. I always forget. I forget after the fact. Hey. All right. I like this. Kind of pulls in those corners and makes them far more like rounded because of the material on top of them. So I'll probably play with those corner, the corner a little bit more, but I love that, how that actually sort of rounds it. Um, on this side, well, it probably will need a bit more of a cleanup. And also I'm thinking what I will do is put down, I'll wake this too, um, with plastic over the top. Uh, like a piece of um, piece of the large piece of this, so that it it doesn't actually adhere, and we shall see what happens next week. Okay, when they're all dry, I will have done though the big one by the time we get back. So it'll either be this way or this the, this way. But I feel like it's going to be um, the second one because I love that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Uh, they look gorgeous. But see the difference on the edges? I feel like this, yeah, and it's the same piece of cardboard underneath. So definitely this way. All right. Okay. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you next week.